guys, what? Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my, hello. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be me testing out low rated makeup from Sephora. And this video has been floating around YouTube and I think it's a very interesting concept. I don't know who started it, but I've seen uh, Nicole Concilio do it. I've seen Kelly Strack do it. I've seen Rach Loves do it. And those are just a couple channels that um, I've seen do it. So I don't know who started it, but I'm gonna take a swing at it. And I also found something that I think is very, very interesting at Sephora, like that goes on. I think it's very interesting. The low rated products are considered a three point something because there's pretty much nothing lower than that rated at Sephora. And I just, I think that's such a weird system. And I think that's, I think that's strange because the highest is a five. So how is the worst product at Sephora in the three? So all these products around 3.5, 3.6 rated and that's considered low rated. I don't know what their scale is or how they're doing that. And I also try to find products that had a lot of ratings on them. I did um, in the past highest rated products from Sephora in the past, but then I had picked some items. I didn't realize they only had like two or three reviews on it. So it was like, you know, not a very good <laughs> representation of a high rated product and that was my bad. So this time I tried to pick items that had a lot of reviews on it and some I was surprised, honestly. I was like, wow, really? This has a bad review? Because I've tried out some of these products before and then some, I was like, mm, I could see that. Okay. So I have a bunch of products, basically a full face pretty much to test out of low rated products and we're gonna see are they really low rated or are they actually worth your dollar or are they right on point? Also, as you guys know, I am doing multiple giveaways from the month of December to get back to you guys. So this video is going to have a giveaway in it. I'm going to be giving away all dish makeup right here. I will have the end date for the giveaway and all the other information about it down in the description box down below. So if you want to know more, baby doll, all you got to do is check the description box description box down below and all you have to do to enter is subscribe and leave one comment down below and one comment only and that is literally all you have to do so easy to enter without further ado we're gonna sing the subscribe song now subscribe to my channel before you leave subscribe to Laura Lee. now let's go ahead and jump right into the video also have like little notes on each product that I don't want you to see because I want to tell you. Okay, the first product that is low rated and I found this to be like one of the lowest rated primers on the Sephora website. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick and it is a primer that is supposed to blur your skin. So this one got a 3.6 which is kind of low on Sephora's uh, site and you're supposed to just rub it on the skin. Now I think it does do a little bit of blurring factor but nothing dramatic, nothing like that's like real talk. And a lot of people were complaining about the hardness and I gotta agree just like with stick products a lot of times they tend to be hard as a brick and this is indeed hard as the brick but you definitely definitely feel it on your skin I don't think it's a terrible primer but I don't think it's like a miracle worker primer and I think people maybe thought it's a blur sticks really interesting and it just didn't turn out to do too much so for foundation shockingly one of the lowest rated foundations or and this one has like 5,000 ratings on it it's like insane is the All Nighter by Urban Decay. You can tell I've used a bit of this foundation and it's because I actually like it. <laughs> it's 7.0 is the shade I use and I had myself found a really hard time finding my shade in this, my correct shade. And that just goes a lot of times with really full coverage foundations. I find that because they're so thick, it's hard to get the exact shade, which versus a thinner foundation is easier to blend it in. And even if it's not the exact shade, you definitely can't tell, but with these you can. And so they're really hard to find the right shade. And like I get the low rating, but like I love the thickness of it, but I also too, girl, we're about to cover all these zits. I too, um, you know, had a hard time with the shade matching. And it does oxidize a bit. So if you can see that's the fresh swatch and now it's already oxidized. You see the color difference? I'm gonna take a freshly cleaned Y6 brush from Morphe. I'm gonna blend all this in. And just real talk, I don't think this product looks that bad on my skin. I mean, it does oxidize and you can kind of tell like the difference. So it's real tough with the color matching. So let's move. 
let's move on, shall we? Next is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. So this item I thought was gonna be a hot topic and really it never was and I went and checked the ratings and it had a 3.6 and I think the ratings is that way. It's not a bad concealer in my opinion. It just definitely is not full coverage. So if you really have uh, darkness on the under eye, this is not your go-to. Like this is for just a little bit of brightening and um, maybe some moisture on the under eye because it's a very moisturizing one in my opinion. But girl, as far as the coverage, it just ain't there. However, if you can see, you can see my darkness kind of that right through there right through this concealer. It just ain't the one. I like it like because it doesn't claim to be like super full coverage. I just, because it's not, I don't typically go for it. Like I don't typically like grab this concealer and that's because I need a little more coverage. Okay, the next product, which kind of shook me a little bit. I couldn't believe this had bad ratings. It doesn't have many ratings on it. Hello. It doesn't have many ratings on it, but it does not have good ratings. What I found with this setting powder is that Younger people thought it was too heavy and cakey and kind of got into like the creases But I found like more mature skin liked it a little bit more It kind of targets more mature skin and that's why younger people don't obsess over it I like the product, but I get it like it's a thicker powder and it's got like a lot of sunscreen in it So over time of wearing it, it does get a little bit cakey and a little bit much but it's not a bad powder i think it's great for mature skin especially it has that um oh she's gonna be super full coverage today honey but it has that uh, sunscreen in it 3.6 real tea is i didn't find a brow product that uh was low rated so i just used my own which uh yeah if i missed that comment down below and just let a girl know Laura, you done messed up. But the next product was interesting to me that it was low rated and it's the Peach Glow Palette. I felt like everything with the Peach Collected, every collection, everybody loved so much. And then I saw this and it got a, <clears throat> what does my Peppa say? It got a 3.5, which is pretty relatively low for Sephora. And a lot of people were complaining that it didn't have any pigment to the colors. I've used this before and I agree 100%. Honestly, it smells like peaches. It's one of the cutest palettes they've ever come out with, but the actual quality of the product just isn't there. I definitely thought it was a bit floppy, so what I'm gonna do is use the blush and the highlight real quick, and then I'm gonna um, contour a little bit. So you can like dabble. It's just so pressed in there. Like honestly, just as me digging in product, it's like nothing comes off. It's insane. I guess them trying to put the imprint of the peaches on there or something created a mess. So this, let's see, I've gone over it like a bazillion times. Really trying to work that in. And it's such, it's like nothing, dude. On the nose, oh, we did get a little highlight on the nose. Um, It's such a subtle highlight. And honestly, that's me with me like really getting in there. The Benefit Hula Stick, it got an okay rating. I wanted to find a contour product to talk about today and this one got, you know, a 3.7, which isn't terrible, but honestly, I get it with this product. Um, a couple of my friends on YouTube didn't like this product. I kind of liked it and hear me out. I thought this product was good for beginners because it blends out really easy, but it blends out into almost nothing. Like there's not a lot of pigment on it. So like I get both sides of the story. I just feel like whenever you're a beginner at contouring, like if there's so much pigment, oh, I just pulled a long hair out of my eyeball. <laughs> but whenever you're beginning at contouring and there's so much pigment to blend out, I find that it gets messy and it's really hard to work with. Whereas this product, not that much pigment comes out. So it's a little easier, but if you're a master at it and you use this, you're gonna be like, Pfft. so. I get both sides of the party. I'm gonna take a Morphe M436 little stippler and blend this out. You see how it's like so subtle? It's like not much of anything. But it also blends out just so easy. I mean, you see a little, you see a little contour, nothing major. I'm gonna take my M581 brush and go into this bronzer. Mind you, this bronzer is light AF. So yeah, it just, Honestly, it's like slightly patchy as well. This palette, I don't recommend it. I agree. I mean, it's 
it's kind of floppy. Okay, let's move on to the eyes. So there were quite a few palettes that had low ratings. Glitter Bomb by Too Faced had really low ratings. Um, this Victoria Beckham was one of the lowest rated products on the site. I think this palette's around 75 freaking dollars and it got a 2.9. People said, I mean, 75 bucks for this many eyeshadows, and they said the quality was bad. Bad, baby. I've had this palette. I haven't really tried it out. I've tried out this palette. This is the Artist number 3 palette, and it got a 3.6, which is definitely not the end of the world. People just did not like the quality of the eyeshadows, and it is random AF, the shades in the palette. Like, I don't even know. There's like a yellow matte, and the rest are shimmers, and then same. There's like a gray, and then shimmers in the Victoria Beckham, so it's like just a mess of colors. Oddly enough, I'm going to take that shimmery yellow and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade today and I get it like these shadows I'm digging in and if you can see you can barely see any yellow on my eye I get it like there's not much pigment to these and their artist shadows are typically good I'm gonna take the lightest shade right here and just hit the brow bone with it as well try to get like a little pop looks kind of chalky don't you guys think what do you guys think just to play around and see what the tea is, I'm gonna try out this cranberry shade, which is shimmery. It's kind of hard to blend, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's a little bit patchy, a little hard to blend out. I am using my favorite blender brush. And I feel like it's like the color is a little darker than what's in the palette once you get it on your eye. Like that's just not pretty, you know? And this is like a satin matte kind of matte with glitter in it. It's not really a shimmer the more I use it. I mean, I agree, like this definitely is not worth $75. There are a lot of good pieces to this collection with Victoria Beckham, but this honey is just not one of them. I'm gonna go in with the pink shade in the center. This actually has a lot of pigment. This pink shade's pretty. Oh yeah, lots of pigment. So I guess these shadows are more so hit and miss in this palette because this one's pretty and I haven't even hit it with MAC Fix Plus. I wanna tap into some of this darker purple just to play. Like we, we just play in now. Deepen it up. This one's kind of creamy, very pigmented. It's coming off black. Like it almost looks black. Oh Jesus. Your friend may have gotten too much eyeshadow on her brush. Okay, believe it or not, next up for mascara. Ooh, I actually have an eyeliner that got a pretty low rating. It is by Tarte. We got the clay paint eyeliner. It got a 3.7 and you know, people really thought it um, was kind of hard to work with. And I remember this product was really popular whenever it first came out and it was always sold out. And this came out a while ago and I wasn't on Tarte's PR list and I tried to get it so bad and it was always sold out and I finally got my hands on it. And to be honest, I didn't really love it. I felt like, <gasps> Felt like, <gasps> felt like <gasps> it literally farted in my face. It farted in my face and just shot all over. <laughs> what just happened? I squeezed it and it went. <laughs> it's gonna have to dry and I'm gonna have to scrape it off. So that's gonna be on my face for a minute and we'll just pretend that it's not. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Okay, I got some pretty thick wings on. You know, it's not the worst liner in the world, but it's definitely not one of my favorites and not one that I reach for typically. So, for mascara, surprisingly, since the Too Faced Born This Way is like the, or Better Than Sex, is like the number one mascara in America. I figured this one would have high ratings and it did not. This one got a 3.0, which is pretty low, which rhymes. And it also had over 2,000 reviews and a lot of people either said it wasn't waterproof or it was too chunky and flaky. But most people saying it wasn't waterproof and I also saw one review where someone was saying it ripped out the real lashes. Which scares me as to why I'm putting it on my right now. Well honey, that's just the price of being a beauty YouTuber. I think this one definitely is a chunkier formula than the other uh, original one. And I also think that it sucks when waterproof mascara is like you have to buy like the Too Faced remover to remove it because that's just crazy, like expensive to get all that. Um, and one person even said like on their wedding day, like it ran and smudged. So that sucks really bad. I'm gonna take this little Estee Lauder white shade. It's like really flaky, 
but it does show up. It's like glitter, to be honest. Okay, and for lips, the Too Faced, I know a lot of this is Too Faced. Sorry, guys. Too Faced just had a lot of bad ratings on Sephora, so I was like, ah. But anyways, this is the Too Faced Liquid Latex. Now, I've already reviewed these on my channel, and they don't make any claim. They, they make a claim. They kind of are what they claim to be, if that makes sense. They are a really sticky, gooey, shiny gloss. It looks like liquid latex on your lips. They have a really low rating. They have a 3.8. Five and they are on clearance right now. So it looks like they're trying to get rid of them. I'm gonna try out I have a neutral shade and a purple shade. I'm gonna try them both out. This is Twilight Zone. It's literally a glue like uh, Lots of pigment though. I personally won't go for this at all ever. I don't like super sticky things on my lips ever. I can't stand it actually. So I typically won't use these, but the only reason I gave it a decent review in the past is because they are what they claim to be. But yeah, that is it for this video guys. Oh, let me try on, let me try on the other, the nude shade just so you can get a variety of low rated products. This one is Hopeless Romantic. Mm, it's pretty. Just sticky AF, honey baby doll. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely think my makeup looks a little heavy and a little bit gross and muddy. Um, and I think the eyeliner is okay. You know, I just think it's a little weird to apply with the tube and it also farted in my face. Felt like, <gasps> but lippies aren't for me. I mean, you guys saw the video. You know the tea. A lot of it is accurate in the reviews and I definitely recommend re reading reviews and I rec recommend leaving honest reviews on Sephora.com so people no, the no, no, honey. Be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave. That way you can enter the giveaway and become a Laura Lee today. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. <sighs> smells like nothing. I don't know why I thought it would smell like a poot. Something smells like a poot. Is it me? No, I don't smell like a poot.